So this is Fiona. She's 12 weeks old today. So, and we've had her since she was eight weeks. And um, she's just the cutest thing ever. Oh, I'm a little tired because we were just outside playing and I just had surgery, so I'm not 100% yet. But she's about the cutest thing ever. She is a miniature schnauzer. Um, she's all white. And like you can see, we have uh, her water fountain that she likes very much and her dog food dish and all the toys I showed you guys and some extra things and beef tendon here. And there's some bully sticks around here somewhere. And then a couple of toys that the breeder gave us. Um, we're feeding her uh, Origin uh, Regional Red, which is their like beef bison um, dog food from Canada. And then, hey, and then for treats, um, these are, I think, blue buffalo beef ones. These are their training treats. And I actually have been like breaking them in half. Come on, camera, focus. Um, but these I haven't um, because we're using them to learn recall and then I've also gotten I think it's full moon chicken nuggets and I actually cut those up they look like the blue buffalo because they've been sharing the same bag okay 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 all right all right so we'll show the people the tricks okay let me switch hands here okay all right so Fiona sit sit down good girl touch Oh, let me put the tree down. Sit. Touch. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, you lost it. She's so good. She's so clever. She knew sit and touch within the first week of us having her, which was really awesome because she's that clever. So she's very clever. We need to work some more. Um, cause her recall isn't great only because she sees lots of things that she wants to see and sniff. And play with her uh, brother and sister next door, the Westie and the Schnauzer that you will see in uh, footage later on. My mom has a 8-year-old Westie female who loves Fiona. And a 12-year-old miniature Schnauzer, but he's a salt and pepper <coughs> Schnauzer. Like, she's white, so she'll be like him, but she'll be a lot smaller than he is. He's actually pretty big for a mini schnauzer. I know. I don't have any more. I don't have any more treats. I know. It's the worst. Actually, I do, but I'm, she doesn't need any more because she just had a lot. Right? You should have some dog food. But she's sleeping through the night. She's been sleeping through the night now for like a week and a half. Well, pretty much two weeks. She's been sleeping through the night. And, uh, She's tired. She wants to get up on the sofa and <laughs> lay down. She's not quite big enough to get on the sofa or the bed yet on her own. Um, but she's a big girl and has been doing the stairs, which is great because I had my gallbladder removed, so I can't really pick things up. I'm not supposed to pick her up. And she's definitely over that five pound limit now. Um, sh we took her to the vet two weeks ago today. And she was like 5.2 pounds. And then the week before that, we took her because we thought that she might have had a UTI. And she was like 4.7 pounds. So she like gained half a pound in a week. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure she's over that 5 pound threshold. Like way over it. So I still shouldn't be picking her up, but I am. But that's pretty much the only thing I pick up. And that's only to help her on the sofa. <clears throat> and uh, on the bed. She's crate trained, like I said, she sleeps in her crate all night, no crying. She's a very good girl, see she wants up on the sofa, but she's not quite big enough, and uh, which is great, so we're getting actual full night sleep. Usually about 7.30 she conks out for the, for the night, she's done. She'll just sleep here the rest of the evening, and uh, but she's not too crazy about me leaving. Um, because she does go in the crate when we leave. See, she's tired. Oh, yeah. We just came in from playing with, uh, with her brother and sister next door. And they're not, I say brother and sister, they're not actually her brother and sister, obviously. Because one's a Westie and one's a very old, much older schnauzer. But for the purposes of 
everybody getting along. We're calling them her brother and sister. Um, so she sees them fairly frequently during the day for play dates, and she loves it. So I'm back to work next week, unfortunately, baby girl. So she'll be in the kennel a little bit more. But she's, like I said, 12 weeks today, so... She's starting to mellow out finally. There was a, about a week and a couple of days where she'd be like a wild demon child <laughs> during the day. I don't know what would get into her, but anyway, she's the cutest thing ever. Excuse my fingers. Get my fingers out of the way. And uh, yeah, so that's Fiona. She's so cute. She's such a good girl with her floppy ears. Obviously, you'll notice but from the last video where we picked her up she had a very nice puppy cut and she is very shaggy this is only four weeks worth of growth right here um the breeder told us she has a super mega coat like her dad so she's very fluffy so she has her well technically her second grooming visit next saturday um the 20 was it the 27th i think um because she's getting really shaggy um, yeah, and it's going to be time to do her ears and her, t her feet, even though I trimmed her feet two weeks ago, the hair in between her pads is already s pretty much grown in, so, anyway, there's our baby girl, Up more updates to come, but she's pretty darn cute, <laughs> and very clever, <laughs> so we'll see you guys next time, bye!